So you want to recreate the look from the upside down. First, what you want to do is grab a still from the show. Use a color palette node to look at the highlights, midtones, and shadows of the shot. Look at the waveform to see its luminance. And go to your vector scope to see the colors. Now you want to go to your shot. And I'm going to change the aspect ratio to 2.0. I'm going to grab a color space transform and put in my camera's color space. Rec 2020 and Fujifilm F-Log. And for the output, I'm going to put Rec 709 and Sinine Film Log. And for the LUT, I'm going to put Kodak 2383. For the first node, I'm going to edit exposure. I'm going to plug in my camera's color space into the exposure wheels. Then my next node is going to be saturation. And my third node is going to be the color, the look. I'm going to lower my saturation. I'm going to pull my colors to a tealish blue. Now I'm going to grab this still. And then I'm going to double click on it so I can compare the two. I'm going to add another node. And I'm going to name it Primaries. I'm going to lower my gain. And pull up my midtones. Then I'm going to slightly turn down the lift. If you look at the image, the blacks in the still are completely black whereas mine are blue. I'm going to add a node and label it blacks. This is where I'll adjust the dark parts of the image to be more accurate. I'll pull it up to a more orange red tone. I'm going to relabel this node hue. I'm going to turn the saturation down. Then I'm going to go to my color warper. And I'm going to adjust the colors as they need to be. For the last node, it's going to be my correction. I'm going to correct the blacks and bring them down to a more suitable level. I'm going to use my curves and pull it in. Then I'm going to go to LS and turn it up until I barely see it going over the line. And that's the look. I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more, and click here to watch another video.